Mike, the fifth anniversary, it says on your T-shirt there. How great is it to have got to a fifth marathon march? Yeah, who would have known four years ago when we did the first one that we'd be doing our fifth four years later. And we've been through a lot in that time. We've come through a pandemic and we changed the route. You know, the first three, we started here and went into central London, which was great, but logistically was hard. And then in the pandemic last year, it was impossible to go in there. So this year we're back to the circular route that we did last year, but we're going the opposite direction. So we're starting here at Selhurst Park finishing at Selhurst Park, taking in all the local sights and sounds of Croydon, Bromley, up to near the training ground, around all sorts of parts of the local area. So great experience for everyone today. <laughs> We have Eddie Azard, our Palace for Life patron, taking part in Toronto. So she's got up at 3am over there and she's running in the streets of Toronto. We've also got a couple of guys in Sweden who have rooted out their own march and are taking part there. Who have we got today? We've got Mark Bright and we've got an athlete, haven't we? Yeah, we've got Team GB, 400 meter runner Martin Rooney. He's a massive Palace fan, so we're really glad that we've got to find a little break in the schedule so we can come down and take part this year. Morning, morning. How are you? Very good, how are you guys? What a brilliant good, day guys. for a lovely walk through the woods. <laughs> Splendid scenery. Liam, what is this today? So, second marathon in six days. So, done London last week. Um, still feeling it, to be honest. No, it's a good it's a challenge I've set myself. Obviously, for the foundation. So, yeah, worthwhile call. So, the way I feel, that's, I'll worry about that later on. Paul, your fifth marathon march, how are mm -hmm. you feeling? Uh, feeling okay at the moment, thank you. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. It's uh, been quite a nice walk across the uh, uh, woodlands out by Shirley and Addington. Your dog's in the bag already? Yeah, absolutely. She's done six miles though, and she's only got very small legs, so uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Martin, we're not that long into the walk, but how's it gone so far? It's all right, 10K I think it is at the moment. I think uh, that's kind of my limit that I've done in the past, and uh, yeah, the next 30K is going to be interesting. Fitness-wise at the moment, like where are you at? I'm kind of like semi-retired. Um, I wouldn't be class myself as a professional athlete anymore. But I'm still training, I'm still like doing a lot of circuit work. It's just a nice opportunity to come and do something different today. Like walking a marathon is not something I've ever thought about doing. Um, but to have a good excuse to do it for the Palace for Life Foundation, it's, it's, it's a brilliant opportunity. So it's lunchtime here on the Marathon March and I am on the FYP balcony. Kevin, you've got your socks and your shoes off there. Tell me what's going on in the foot department. Well, I did I did jokingly tweet, ah, oh, lovely that your dog's licking my feet. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're all very excited at FYP because we've got a surprise donation totally out of the blue in between two £10 donations, which are equally welcome. But John Texter, our new investor, has very kindly donated $10,000. It was genuinely really exciting. JD nearly got hit by a car because obviously being JD stopped in the middle of the road. Any struggles today? Uh, it's actually been alright. I walk quite a bit unlike Kevin by the sounds of things so yeah it's been it's been good it's the weather's helped. It was a bit murky this morning but in terms of compar comparatively to last year it's a lot drier so that's helped a lot. Hi there. Ed you're, you're the wrong How way off. I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah, am I the wrong way off? I'm the wrong way off you're quite right. What time is it now where you are? Toronto is it? Seven forty, and only nine miles to go. Listen, it's a great cause, as you know. You're very supportive of us, and we really appreciate that. Just had a quick chat to Ed. She's in Toronto, enjoying that over there. A bit rainy, but it's dry here. Let's have some interesting conversations. Find out about why people are doing it, and you know, it's like it's it's brilliant. Yeah, so I'm going to push on and try and break my record. Patrick, congratulations Thank with you. this group here. First across the line, how was it this year? Tough, tough to be honest. Um, pushed myself to the limit. Last year felt alright, kind of done 30 mile walk the week before. But this year I didn't have a chance to do any training. You know, worked hard to earn the donations back for the foundation. Two months is in a, less than a week. Yeah, everything hurts. My legs. They feel like they're going to jelly, but they're all right. I don't know how I got through that. Working at a club, doing it for the foundation, it's, that's what it's all about. So I'll worry about the aches and pains tomorrow. 
How are you feeling? I feel awful, but I'm glad I did 24 miles. 24 miles, that's what I did. So a pretty special day for the Palace family. Yeah, most definitely. You met some incredible people.